When I tried to get close, it was like when you push two magnets together and they repel. Magnetism? Yeah. Magnetism, of course. Uh, Superman, can I get a tissue sample? Sure. Are you okay? I'm okay. I feel pretty good. I think next time I will take him. Maybe not. The composition of Superman's blood is obviously different from that of Agent Rollins. But in both samples, the erythrocytes are either clinging together or repelling each other. As if the bloodstream itself was magnetized? Exactly. So Deathstroke is affecting the iron in the bloodstream and cutting off the flow of blood to the heart? And since there's less iron in your bloodstream, he couldn't kill you as easily as the others. Although he has dangerously altered your blood chemistry. Meaning? Meaning that if your blood doesn't get a chance to repair itself, I can promise you that another bout with Deathstroke wouldn't kill you. Certainly, anyone without superpowers doesn't stand a chance. Lois? I want you to rethink this interview. Look, I know what you're gonna say. It's gonna be something very sensible and very- True, which is this. The second that you see Gendel in person, you become a target. I don't know if I can stop him. This is the interview of a lifetime. And I appreciate that. Which is why I know you'll understand when I say I have to do it. <sighs> then I guess we're gonna have to figure out a way to stop Deathstroke by tomorrow at noon. Dr. Klein, do you have any scientific records available on magnetics research? Star Labs maintains a fairly complete archive. Can you run a trace for anyone who might have done this sort of research for Gendel Technologies? Agent Rollins said something about a possible revenge motive. Maybe this is a, a grudge against Gendel. <laughs>